Our final game of the day here, the 2015 Atlantic Sun Softball Championships was between the Hatters of Stetson and the Ospreys at Orr, Florida in an elimination ball game. Robert Harper and our coach Scott Whitlock with you. And coach, it didn't take long in the ball game for the fireworks to begin as Demi Meza at the top of the first, that two-run homer, got things started in the right direction for the Hatters. It started early for the Hatters, but the Ospreys got right back in it in their half of the first inning. And Alex Arciola there, a triple to center field that was misplayed by the center fielder Denbrook. That played at the tying run at the bottom of the first inning and tied the ball game at two. The one thing that after that happened after that, the pitchers kind of settled in. Kaylee Wallace in the circle was able to get out of some trouble uh, in the middle innings, along with uh, Chelsea Hostetler, who was just fantastic at all three ball games in her tournament so far. The middle part of this game did show a lot of good pitching. And Both pitchers have done a great job, Robert. Absolutely, they certainly have, but it was this pitch. Uh, late of the ball game as Stacy McClellan hit her 13th home run of the year. That two-run homer gave North Florida their first and only lead. That was a no-doubter, and when that ball went out to park, a lot of people thought the game was over. But fortunately, no one mentioned that to Frank Griffin and his Hatters. Yeah, Frank Griffin and his team continued to battle back as it was a back and forth affair. This was the first of two doubles with two outs uh, in the sixth inning that uh, was able to bring the Hatters uh, back in front, or at least to tie the ball game, and then eventually allowed them in the seventh inning to go back in front. And there comes the double right there to plate the, plate the run, tie this game up. And a big double it was uh, for Morgan Hatch of the Stetson Hatters, and then a big play in right by Courtney Brandt uh, in the bottom of that inning, kept it at a tie ball game. What a great defensive play. Running back on the ball, tailing away from us, had a present mind to stay in there and make the play. And then here's the swing by Tenbrook that gave the Hatters the lead for good. Top of the seventh, a double left center field, and coming all the way around to score from first was Waters, and that would set our final score in the ball game as Stetson would come away in this uh, em em uh, em elimination game. Easy for me to say, a five to four win for the Stetson Hatters. The final out of the ball game recorded right there in foul territory. And Stetson coach, a big time winner here in the final game on day number two. Gutty performance by the Hatters after the disappointing loss this morning to Lipscomb. They got up off the deck and came out here and got the job done and they survived and advanced. And they'll play tomorrow at three o'clock in an elimination game against Kennesaw State.